it? Is this your final home? Is there not an extra year, or is there something in the, you know, but uh, your thoughts, Dakota, is A, one, you guys are, are still looking for that first win, hoping to get that first win on senior day and, and heading into your final home game at, on, after, you know, a great Sycamore career. No, it's, it's been a great career, and it's going to be an exciting day on Saturday. Um, it's the last home game for the seniors and a lot of us, so it's going to be exciting, and, you know, we're just, the thing I'm proud of is uh, just the fight that we can, we, we just keep fighting, and a lot of, a lot of people don't see uh, the insides of what we're doing, but we come to work every day, and the blood, the sweat, the tears we put into this is, it's going to show, and it's it's coming soon. Coach kind of touched on it and called you out a little bit, but six years here with the program, what has been just being a member of this team, a part of this group, been meant to you just over the time, and how have you seen some of those relationships grow and foster? Well, it just goes back to what Coach was talking about seven years ago. He, him and his coaching staff, were, they were the only ones that would come up and talk to me and say, you're a great player, we want you to come here and play. And it just goes to show the type of people he brings in here and the type of, person, type of man he is. Um, and that's the reason I came here. It's like he always says, people make a place. And it's, a, it's been a blessing the past six years to be here. When you look at to Western Illinois on the film, uh, what have you seen from that defense? Uh, what's kind of just from your perspective and from the receiver room, what's kind of the game plan for this week? Um, just to, to attack, go out there and play play our best game, play with confidence. Um, they're a solid group of guys. Uh, they're big. They're got. They're pretty pretty sound in what they do. Um, and we're just like we do every week. Just can watch film and get ready for the week. Dakota, how's it going? Uh, Hunter Tickle Tribune to start. Good to see you again. How are we doing today? I'm good. Good. Um, each season you've had multiple touchdowns. Um, coming out of Sullivan. You know, uh, you've had now a thousand yards over your career. Do you remember the first time you ran a route, kind of like perfected it, turned and got your first grab, and what did that feel like? <laughs> well, I don't remember the route, but uh, I do remember the first time I ever touched the ball was a punt return against Quincy my freshman year. We were we were up big, and Coach Abrams and Coach Mallett decided to put me in. I was like, all right, let's let's go. The ner nerves were running a little bit, um, and I actually I ended up scoring a touchdown, but. I was happy I scored a touchdown, but I was also mad because I caught the ball way above my head, and it was bad technique. And I, I remember going up to Coach Matt, I was like, Coach, I got to work on that technique. It's, it's not, it's not the right technique, but yeah, that was, that was exciting. So did that give you the confidence from that point, and kind of the swagger moving forward, to kind of be like, all right, I belong in the field. I'm not gonna die when someone hits me, or the, the, in, in this juncture when I get to the end zone. Um, what, what can you say about just knowing that you belong there, and you still got to work, right? But you knew that you could kind of hold your own out there. Well, I mean, my entire high school and college career, I've always been a smaller guy, so I've always been someone that uh, just comes with an attitude, you know, I'm bigger than what I, what I am in terms of how I play, um, and I just go out there, and a thing I love to live by is just proving doubters wrong and just going out there and proving to everyone who doesn't believe in me and just proving people who, who do believe in me that they're, they took a chance at me for a reason, and I just go out there and keep, just continue to prove it. Well, what's some of the things you learned from guys like, um, I can't go that far back, but Dante Hendricks, Harry Van Dyne, some of those receivers out there, man, I know you've got to feel like you're working with some legends or some really quality yeah. guys. What, what was kind of some of the learning steps from those guys? Uh, it's, it's more of the, the leadership, just being in the room with them every day. You know, we spent hours upon hours with each other, and especially with Harry now, we, we're both, you know, sixth and seventh year guys, and we, we feed off each other, and, we, you know, we always talk about, ways we can improve to be better leaders, and it's, it's helped both of us in, in, the long, in the long run. What do you think will go through your heads? Certainly, you know, senior day is always tough because it's a compartmentalized. You, have, you want to honor the seniors, honor everyone, but you got a, you got a game to play and a game to win to anything. Not to give too much away, but yeah. what's going to be going through your head Saturday as you get set to tick, kick it off? Uh, it's going to be emotional, obviously, but, you know, it just I'm just going to look at it as another game. Just uh, we're, we're all itching to get a win, so it's going to be a great day. I know it's maybe hard to kind of think about your own maybe like workout in terms of weights and mm -hmm. right training, speed, agility, things like that. But where did what? How much of an arc did you have to make? Uh, what was it? The last six years, right? Or yeah. five years? Yeah, six years here on campus, and what that looked like for you. Um, I mean, my freshman year, I was a uh, hundred and fifty-two pounds, so I wasn't very big. I put on thirty pounds in like less than two years, so and that just continue to elevate my game and just continue to work hard in the weight room, on the field, and everything.
And then I was looking at your your game log. I saw you didn't you had a redshirt injury year what twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two one of those two years. Twenty twenty one, yeah. Yeah, twenty twenty one. Uh, was that the fr- did you get hurt in that first game or? No, so we had that COVID year in twenty twenty, and then um, I ended up getting hurt before uh, like the last training session of summer. So I just was out for that season. Okay, was there anything you can elaborate on in terms of what was what you hurt or no? Or? I, yeah, it was just my ACL. Okay. Yep. Appreciate it. Yep. Thanks, DC. Good job, Dakota.